What's up YouTube, Jason Tome here, and today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite turkey hunting tips. Uh, it's getting close to turkey season, so I thought it would be a good time to share it. And it has to do with when toms are hanging up like around 80 yards and they just won't come in, how do you get them into your decoys? And this frustrated me for a really long time, and it still does from time to time, but I figured out a way to, uh, to get these stubborn toms to come in. And so basically what it is, is if they don't come in first thing in the morning, like I said, if they're hanging out like around 80 yards and they're all fired up and they're gobbling at every one of your calls and you're like, oh man, it's only a matter of time before they come in. Um, a lot of times they just, they just don't come in. So uh, the biggest thing that I found is to not to over call. They're trying to get your decoys to come to them because they've probably learned from past experience that when they go to the hens, um, their buddies have gotten shot. So they want you to go to them. And when you don't do that and you just keep calling and calling and calling, it kind of seems unnatural to them. And so they'll, they'll just leave and they won't come back and they'll continue on with their day. But what I do is I, I call just enough to pique their interest. And what that does is it kind of irritates them and it gets them thinking about me more in the back of their minds um, sometimes that's enough to bring them in but a lot of times they'll still just leave and what they're doing is they're going to get breakfast so because you haven't overcalled, they're still thinking about you in the back of their mind while they're eating breakfast and I've had it happen a bunch of times where uh, Tom's will come back after eating breakfast and they'll just be completely silent and all of a sudden they're at 25 30 yards and they didn't make a peep and other times they'll come in gobbling the whole time uh, kind of depends but anyway i put a couple of video clips together of when this has worked well for me so if you want to see this tip in action just stay tuned i think i think he's trying to decide what to do because i think he's been trying to get with that hen and she's not giving in many so he's like i might have to try something else <laughs>
nice shot, Jack. All right. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he didn't go anywhere. And we waited hours for that bird. <laughs> <laughs> Kept us waiting. Let's go take a look at him. was to cluck every time that he'd call him. He'd lose interest. Yep. Most people just... We think it's like to, to be true or something. Yeah. Most people just keep calling, calling, calling. So, sounds like there could be an end coming. To our left, but I'm not sure.
shot. Okay, Get cock another one. Cock another one. How's he look? He's down. He's down. Oh yeah. Nice. Let's go after. Make sure your gun's on safe. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of the window. <laughs> nice shot, dude. There we go. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. You want to wait for a good headshot here. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Nice. Holy crap. Didn't get much on film, but <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, wow. Holy smokes, that's a big bird. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you found this tip helpful in the upcoming turkey hunting season. If you want more tips like this, I wrote about 23 others on my blog, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back. Thank you.